great. I am comfortable with the conducive learning environment here in Fortune Schools. Now, tell me about Fortune Schools. Fortune Schools comprise Scratch, nursery primary and secondary classes. We have the Center for International General Certificate of Secondary Examination, that's the IGCSE. Yes, we also have standard facilities for both boarding and day students. Not only that, Fortune Schools have spacious and well ventilated classroom blocks with up to date library facilities and coastal water and power supply. Also, in Fortune Schools, we have God fearing, motivated, and qualified teachers. In Fortune Schools, our school buses are always on ground to pick and drop us on time. We also have standard and state of the art ICT equipment. In addition to that, in Fortune Schools, high level of discipline is maintained and we also enjoy co curricular activities in the school. In Fortune schools, we are also known for zero tolerance in exam and practice. Fortune models good and responsible citizen for the world. Yes, the spirit of teamwork is equally built in students, pupils and staff. Admission is ongoing. Please visit the school compound at number 16 Udonsoro Street, a chapter for Uyo, Kwebom State. Great Fortune School! Fortune schools, excellence through hard work. The Early Global Entrepreneurs Week is the world's biggest celebration of entrepreneurship that inspires entrepreneurs across board with local, national, and global content designed to help them explore their potentials. It is on the above premise that one of the leading NGOs in Akwaibum State, the Edit Amana Foundation, EDAF, collaborated with other reputable organizations to organize a week-long training and skill acquisition program for entrepreneurs and upcoming entrepreneurs in Akwaibum State. The event, which was rounded off on 22nd November 2020, at the Foundation Secretariat in a year Tong Road or run local government area of Akwaibum State. The Foundation Manager, Mr. Cyril Beer, said Edit Amana Foundation is committed to adding value to life's true entrepreneurial empowerment of the people to become self-reliant in the world. Edit Amana Foundation is an independent um, charity organization that was set up to work uh, in the areas of health, education, economic empowerment, skills acquisition. Um, the founder, Sir Dr. Ede Tamana, uh, is a philanthropist who will be um, helping the society for a long time now, for so many years. The foundation head office is in Lagos, but here we are in our own the site office. Uh, because it is good to bring the foundation to the rural community where we um, work together to, to solve problems you know, peculiar to rural communities. Um, we have been part of initiatives, um, we've been um, designing and implementing projects that are um, touching lives. Um, for the past two years, um, we have been doing uh, a whole lot this year we had the COVID-19 uh, palliative sensitization program. Uh, we've had our own uh, book club launched here. We had um, young people come here to, to read and analyze books. We have also been part of um, educational push um, programs in our own, the Oron quiz competition which is organized by the Edamana Foundation. Uh, we also have about a uh, uh, four or five teachers at the Methodist Boys High School that we have you know, engaged since last year to come support the teaching of, uh, of uh, sciences. They're actually being uh, uh, paid by, by the foundation. Uh, we, are, we are so much committed to entrepreneurial development and entrepreneurial growth. So we would like to push for the culture of entrepreneurship. Therefore, the foundation um, last year started the Global Entrepreneurship Week program with Oral Entrepreneurship um, uh, Summit, Youth Entrepreneurship Summit, where we had over um, 500 young people come to discuss and then get, uh, got mentored by, by um, business people. You know. And this year, um, we have here the Global Entrepreneurship Week and then we had over 50 participants who have been groomed in entrepreneurial management. Because we feel that um, teaching entrepreneurship in two ways, you have a theoretical part and then you have the uh, practical part. 
So we need to enhance their ability, we need to empower them with skills so that they'll be able to you know, survive in this present uh, day Nigeria. And the global economy is also encouraged by uh, people having skills. So that's what we've been up to. And most of them are very happy that they went through this, uh, this uh, training. You know, and we are proud as an organization to, to uh, uh, see that people are passionate about learning. You know, that's one, one, one interesting thing about uh, the people you know, around here. So they are open to learning and the mindset is shifting so because we are trying to implant the idea of entrepreneurship and the culture of entrepreneurship in every young people. So the Eddie Damana Foundation is out to, to help solve problems, basic problems, especially for the less privileged in our midst. So I want to say thank you to the founder, Chief uh, Eddie Damana, Sir Dr. Eddie Damana. I also want to say thank you to the Board of Trustees. I want to say thank you to our donors. I have to say uh, thank you to the participants who found it you know, reasonable enough for them to come here and learn. The event, which was flagged off with a mentoring session on business concepts, also took the participants through on how to start a business, financial planning, management, branding, and many others by the facilitators. This was done to help the participants grow their business ideas, connecting them to investors with global markets and strengthening their innovative capacities to the benefit of the industry and the society. How do I start a business market? What is that thing I need to do to position my business to be a smart business? Now, there's a difference in a smart business and transacting business smartly. There are two different things. A smart business and a business that is transacted smartly. Now, how do I do that? The first thing is I need to have a big idea. The most without big idea that I need to put on the table. And what do I mean by big idea? I, an idea that is disruptive, an idea that breaks the table, an idea that changes, changes the landscape, business landscape. In all of example, if I'm coming up, if I'm coming up with an idea, there has to be something that will shatter the table, that will change the way things are done. From a photographer, I need to begin to take pictures and process pictures and send the pictures to their customers in a different way that is not being done in the old ways. And what are those ways? There are different ways to do it. I can take pictures as a photographer, print the pictures, and I go to your house and deliver it to you. Maybe I can put it in some lovely envelopes. I can, I can design, put some designs on it. I could be, be someone who provides food, fast food. Yeah? The old way of doing it is I sit down at my place, bake the food, bake the cakes, the pastries, and all of that, and just serve. After you set up your business, you need to, there are three things you need to do, three things that you need to do. The first thing is your business, you have to be customer centric, you have to be customer focused. You have to be focused on your customers. It's what your customer says that you do. They say customer is king. Yes, customer is king, it's always king and will remain king. Your customer has a higher and fire key or power. You as MB or CEO, you don't have it. It's your customer that will fire you. If you treat your customer appropriately, your customer will keep loving you and keep coming back to you. If you treat your customer shabbily, your customer will fire you. And once your customer fires you, that's the end of your business. Get feedback from your customers at every point in time. Find out what is it that you're doing that they like about your business. How have you been delighting them? What is it that they like? Is it the packaging? Is it the service delivery? The second vitamin, I call it vitamin. Consistency. You must be consistent in your business. How consistent am I? Consistency is if I produce toothpaste, the toothpaste comes out in this form today, it has to come out in that same form tomorrow. It has to come out in the same form next year. The only thing that is allowed to do is to get better, not worse. So you don't just jump into something you don't know what entails. So in business, that point is what well, planning. And so there's something called business plan. Only your business plan is supposed to be a document that has a full detail or full information about your business. How that business will start, what is the objective of that business, which sector, which market 
Are you going to serve the children? Are you going to serve the education sector? Are you going to serve the banker? It contains a whole lot of information in that business planning. So what's financial planning? Financial planning is like you're planning, you're directing your directing your resources. I'm going to get five million naira. Or let's say I'm hoping to get two hundred thousand naira at the end of this training. How am I going to utilize it? How am I going to use it? It's planning and directing your resources to achieve your business goals. Credit management is an aspect of financial management. So as an entrepreneur, we're not saying you should sell goods to your customers of credit. We are talking about knowing your customers, good customer relationship. Sometimes you have to, but not to every one. It is very, very important to be able to manage your credit and know who to give and where to give. As an entrepreneur, you should be passionate, you should have compassion. But when it comes to business, when it comes to business, you also have to be strict. Okay, if an investor wants to invest in your business, the first thing you do start for is your financial book, your financial statement. Your business plan, your financial state, those are the major things they look out for. They want to know how this business has been doing. Is it will you be willing to if you're an investor? Will you be willing to invest money in a business that have not been selling for the past two years? Eh? For instance, I have five hundred thousand to give out. And I come and look at your business and I ask them, how have you been doing? And how business and how market now? You say fine, no, fine, how fine it is. How fine is the business? You cannot show me evidence that it's fine. So financial records are evidence, documented evidence of the performance of our business over the years. It's fine though, it's well though, business is good though. We don't need stories, we need to see them. We want you to digitalize. We are going to deal in branding, we're going to deal in packaging, we're going to deal in advertising, marketing. So this is very critical to your growth as an entrepreneur. We don't want you to bring a product that is average. You will live here today, make your own brand of product that is going to sell and stand in the market. Market competition is very important, all right? You don't just brand products, you can brand a character, okay? You are a character, I am a character. So branding is that uniqueness you give to a character that a person or a product to make it stand out in the market. Packaging and labeling is what helped us because you have to package and you have to label. Hmm? You don't have to know how to label. You can get a good designer, okay? And there are sales tools for designing. What's the advantage of packaging? To make more money. It's very simple. So why we package it? Because we want to make more money. In everything you do, what is what doing? is what doing well. Branding your business is very, very important and necessary. Why is that necessary? Because a thousand and one person are doing that same business you want to start, that same business you want to do. There are hundreds and thousands of people that are doing it. So how would you be able to sell yours if everybody are doing the same thing? It's how you brand and package your business. Let's say, for example, I sell a fish. That is what I do. And um, every other person sells a fish in the market. What makes mine different is how I package it, how I present it, how I market it to you. I will make you buy my fish. So if you are going out there to do a business, you should be able to package your business very well. And when you are getting a business name for your brand, let it be a name that is short, brief, and easy to pronounce. Not a name that somebody will be thinking of, okay, where can I get peanuts? And they are thinking about your name over and over again. Let it be something that's very easy to pronounce and sharp to remember, so that when I'm thinking of where to get this name, you are the first person on my mind. Take your time to build your brand, have a good customer relationship, then before you start thinking about the profit to make, it might take time for the profit to come. In business, as an entrepreneur, when you're starting, you can't make the gain immediately. One of the things that kill us um, young entrepreneurs so fast is because we want so much gain immediately.
Participants at the event had the opportunity to learn a whole lot of skills like soap production, paint production, cream production, photography, hand sanitizer, makeup, and gele, etc. Now, the question we want to do is hand sanitizer production. This is Nitruso, one form of uh, thickener that we have. So, uh, Nitruso is here, you can feel it. Highlight of the program was the presentation of certificate to more than 50 participants. Cradle TV show had an insightful interview with some of the participants who expressed gratitude to the Edith Amana Foundation for impacting on them. I want to use the opportunity to appreciate Edith Amana Foundation for bringing this uh, skill accusation to other nation for the betterment of other people's life. I want to say, may the good Lord 
bless me. I was informed on this free training at Edirama Foundation and I, I learned a lot from this training as sanitizer, aftershave, bath soap and liquid soap production. So my time goes to Edirama for this free training though I really appreciate it. It's been a wonderful week for me personally. I've been able to be resourceful and impactful to others. So I want to say thank you to Edetama Foundation and thank you to the Global Entrepreneurship Week. You know, those that put this um, event together globally every year. Thank you so very much. I participated in the Global Entrepreneurship Week 2020 at Edetama Foundation. It was awesome and amazing. There were different sections of learning like Gale and Makeup, Liquid Swim and Basso, and many of them I participated in the Liquid Swim Basso. So I want to say thank you to the facilitators of this event that have made it possible for us to meet here. Thank you to Wade Semanas Foundation for the privilege of meeting here to learn and also impact the lives of young persons. I'm also grateful to Wade Semanas Foundation for the privilege of being a volunteer. As you can see, a volunteer in this um, event has been awesome being um, an inspiration to young persons and also learning from others. Thank you very much. It's been a wonderful experience. We have many sections uh, during the program. We have the photography, we have the camera makeup, we have the hand sanitizers, soap production, we also have the paint production department. So it's a great experience. Now that I'm equipped, I thank God that I'm able to start on my own business that I think I've been producing those products for sales in the market. And I want to also thank the foundation for the opportunity that they're giving to us to empower us. I want to thank them for the love. I'm most elated to be one of the trainees in this um, Ede Tamana Foundation. I'm very happy. I would like to say a big thank you to the engineer of Ede Tamana for a rare privilege like this. I've really learned a lot during the course of this training, my soap making. It was wonderful and I'm glad to be one of the trainees. Sincerely speaking, I've learned a lot during the course of this program, global entrepreneurship with things I didn't know, like production of soap, hand sanitizers, and other forms of training programs. The number of my sincere gratitude goes to the man, and I also pray that God gives the man more capacity to embark on such programs. I graduated 2015. I served Nigeria in 2016. I came back without a job. By the special grace of God, the Ramana Foundation is really helping the youth of all our nation. And then, through the training, I understand how to become an entrepreneur. And I learned a lot concerning this program, which I can stand on my own as a director. So it will help the youth of our nation. I am comfortable with the conducive learning environment here in Fortune Schools. Now, tell me about Fortune Schools. Fortune Schools comprise Kretch, nursery primary and secondary classes. We have the Centre for International Junior Certificate of Secondary Examination, that's the IGCSE. Yes, we also have standard facilities for both boarding and day students. Not only that, Fortune Schools have special and well ventilated classroom blocks with up to date library facilities and constant water and power supply. Also, in Fortune Schools, we have God fearing, motivated, and qualified teachers. In Fortune Schools, our school buses are always on ground to pick and drop us on time. We also have standard and state of the art ICT equipment. In addition to that, in Fortune Schools, high level of discipline is maintained and we also enjoy co curricular activities in the school. In Fortune schools, we also know for zero tolerance in exam and practice. Fortune models good and responsible citizens for the world. Yes, the spirit of teamwork is equally embedded in students, pupils and staff. Admission is ongoing. Please visit the school compound at number 16 Udonsoro Street, Efiata Fort, Uyo, Kwebom State. Fortune School! Fortune schools, excellence through hard work.